What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Okay, we got a little side light going, but maybe... Okay, that gives me full face, full face light. Um, today is a very fun evening. It is Friday and John and I, John you've seen in a couple videos, um, are celebrating our six year anniversary. Six years, crazy. But we are doing date night in New York City, so I figured I'd vlog, um, you know, just so we can look back on it, but also so you guys can see what we do. Um, and I am going to start with my makeup, and I'll talk to you. Um, I did a Thrive Cosmetics haul, you can look there, but I do, I have been using their products, um, and I love them. So I'm going to do a little bit of a longer look today. Um, so I figured I'd take you along getting ready. You guys can help me pick out an outfit. And yeah, date night in New York City. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel. My hair is crazy because I just took the boys on a walk, the puppies. But yeah, so let's go um, and do our makeup for this evening. So, um, I already have put on my sunscreen for the day. I did my, my morning face routine. Um, oh, I had to bring my makeup with me to do a self tape. So I've got my foundation here. Okay, let's start. So um, I did have a follower tell me that I should probably apply the CC cream before my powder foundation. So thank you to that follower. <laughs> the Buildable Blur CC cream from Thrive Cosmetics. I will link everything below of what I use. So I use about <laughs> that much. And I mostly just go under my eyes. And if I do have a blemish or two, I'll put it on the um, blemish, uh, which I do have one right there. It's been very stressful, you guys. Um, I'm in desperate need of a, I wouldn't say vacation. Like, I don't know that I'm going to travel on a plane anywhere. I don't know how I feel about that yet. But um, I'm in desperate need of some just time to relax. So we just kind of blend it under the eyes. So that our, um, you know, our tiredness goes away and then we blend it on the bottom here. So I can't use um, a liquid foundation. My skin breaks out like crazy. So actually, I don't know. Comment below. Does that mean that I have oily skin because I can't wear um, a liquid foundation? I've always used. This is the um, True Match Mineral um, powder foundation from L'Oreal and I'm using the shade right now natural beige it fluctuates depending on if I'm tan or super pale from the winter time but I've been using this for years you can get it <laughs> just poured out everywhere you can get it at like CVS or you know Rite Aid or something like that I think it's like 16 bucks um, and I've just I always use this I only really ever use um, a liquid if I do theater and actually sometimes I don't because I sweat so much that um, my skin just breaks out so we just kind of blend it all in I am um, luckily with my skincare change up and like all the attention that I've been paying to my skin um, I don't really have to use much foundation which is nice um, I used to like cake it on because I was so embarrassed about how my skin was but I've been paying a lot of attention to my skin recently. Um, I would say the past like couple years. Um, and I've seen a significant difference. That's really it. It was just like one little dip in the powder. I have powder everywhere. Oh, I didn't talk about this. When you, uh, when you order the CC cream from um, Thrive, they send you a beauty blender, which I actually need to wash because it's gross. They send you a beauty blender, which is really nice. I feel like... My face is really tan. Okay. And then, normally I use, it's the um, waterproof eyebrow liner, but I am out of it, unfortunately. There's none left. So I just use the, the brush to like brush out my eyebrows. And then I honestly have been lazy and I've just been using, um, <laughs> people are gonna yell at me. I've just been using eyeshadow to do my brows which is horrible. I know, don't make fun of me. But I just kind of fill them in. I do have to make another Thrive order. Um, I really like that company. 
and I find their products last a while, which is nice, and they are vegan and cruelty-free. You guys, do you hear how deep my voice is? I'm so tired from teaching um, and yelling in a dance class through a mask. I really miss teaching without a mask on. Okay, so now we've got some brows going, which is nice. So now the question is, what kind of look are we going for today? Are we going for like glam? So I've been using these daily. These are the um, Bright Eye Brighteners from Thrive. I'm obsessed with them. I will, I am going to start with this one's like the like neutrally, um, almost like a shimmer. Can you see that? It's like a shimmer. This is shade Stella. So I like to go in the creases of my eyes like this to brighten up. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. I do the brow bone. You see how it's like instantly brightening and opening up my eyes? I also go in here. I don't know what we want to do. What do we want to do? Hmm. Oh, maybe we'll do a little highlighter and contour. So this is the shade and light contour. Shade and light contour. And then the shades are Lyric and Shadow Play. I think I got this from um, Sephora. I don't really do this every day, only if it's like um, a self tape or something. So, you know, just on the top, on the nose, on the lips. And then I'll do the contour on my cheeks. If anyone's a beauty guru, am I doing it right or wrong? Please tell me because um, I'm not. <laughs> and then I like to blend it just a little bit with the powder brush. I'm not a like specialist when it comes to makeup. I kind of do just what feels fun. I've got some MAC shades, but I don't know if I'm feeling that. I have been really loving. This is the um, Triple Threat stick in, I think it's Donna, Diana. Um, and you're supposed to be able to use it on your lips, eyes, and cheek. Um, and I've been using it on my eyes, so I just, I mean, you could just go like this. I guess that's how you're supposed to apply it. I don't know, you put it on my finger. Um, and it's this, like, fun pink color, which is fun. And then I take just, like, a brush. I think this is from, um, uh, Elf. And I, uh, blend it. So it's, like, a nice little pink color, which is fun. And then maybe I'll go in and do like a little bit of a, um, what do they call it? Will you like put some dark? <laughs> Can you tell how tired I am? All right. See how nice that is? That's so nice. And then maybe I'll go in, this might look horrible. I'm gonna go in with the Muna um, Brilliant Eye Brightener, and I'm gonna do like a, oh, a smoky eye, that's what they call it. Okay, so this has changed the game for me. I have baby dainty, you can't even see my lashes, dainty dainty. Um, and I now use my lash curler daily. I use this daily to give me some volume on the lashes. The first product I tried, the liquid, the liquid Lash Extender, you guys, this product is wild. It really, you're supposed to do two coats of it. My lashes are like, boom, before. It's a nice little brush too, look at that brush. So I don't really do much eyeliner. I have very small eyes, so I find that if I ever use eyeliner or anything in the everyday, um, it makes them smaller. Again, beauty gurus, if I'm wrong and you've got tips for me, please leave a comment below. Okay, so I showed you the before, after. Like, are you kidding? They look fake. So you can also use the triple threat stick to do a little bit of cheek. I'm gonna do just, I've been watching TikTok beauty and normally I do my like right on my cheek, but they say if you wanna like lift your face, you do just right on the top, almost like a highlighter. So I'm, I'm normally you could like stick it on. I'm literally just dabbing it in. And then this comes with this little blending stick and I just blend in circles. I don't think I'm gonna use this as my lipstick 
today. I have been using it a lot daily and in like um, vlogs. I think I might go for a darker lip or even like a pink or a red lip. And then after I do that step, I again, I just like to go over it a little bit with my um, foundation brush. And I feel like that's the look. I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. I'll just put a I'll just put a basic lip on and then if I don't if that doesn't match with my outfit um this I use Revlon a lot this is the smoky rose this is my everyday I wear this every day uh it's like a little bit of a brown it just like gives your lips some definition I'm not a big lip liner person I do lip liner for shows um but my makeup routine even when it's considered like glam or like date night is pretty simple not too extravagant and then oh, I think I uh, um, I think I'm going to maybe curl my hair anybody else stop doing their hair during quarantine <laughs> so maybe we'll do a little hair curl curl it really tight so that because my hair like drops and then I do like a spritz or a spray over with uh, the L'Oreal extra strong unscented like this flip it over and then I go like this <laughs> And then I'm gonna put a little dry shampoo in there to get some height because it is a little dirty. Just at the roots. And then I'm gonna spray it again. And then I kind of just leave it until right before we go out so that um, it stays tight. And then it kind of looks like this, <laughs> but it'll fall. Okay, I'm borrowing my roommate's mirror just so I can show you outfit. So this is a little bodysuit. And I've got this cute black and white skirt from, I think it's from Express. I'm gonna put a little heel on. It doesn't have a platform on it, so I think I'll be able to walk. Um, and I've got a cute little gold bracelet, some gold necklaces, and a matching gold earring. And this is our anniversary outfit. Hashtag, when's the last time you got dressed up, huh? <laughs> and my date for this evening. Look at that, man. Give me a spin. <laughs> oh, a good turn. Is that the sweater I bought you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Matching. We got the nice shoes on. Nice shoes on. And we're heading off to six year anniversary date night. Mm -hmm. Yay! We were stuck on the, tra on the train. A good half hour. And we came across, look at this like space. It's like a courtyard and it's got some art and sculpture. Fight okay. eye. Okay, fight eye. Off to dinner? Yes, please. Let's go to dinner.
is so cute. Um, what's the name of the restaurant? Ampia. Ampia. Um, a hundred Broad Street. Yeah, hundred Broad Street. Hundred Broad Street in the. Uh, financial district it's super cute you guys and they have like cute little pods it's so freaking cute and it's Italian so we're gonna look at the menu get some food get some appies get some booze and celebrate six years my love six years happy anniversary what do we got what do we got we got calamari we got gnocchi and a plate of cheese <laughs> What's your drink? What'd you get? Uh, harvest meal. And I got gin. <laughs> Dear I got Lord. a knife. <laughs> I got a knife. And I'm gonna cut the cheese. What's the word? No, it's <laughs> manja. Amarone is near an ass. <laughs> manja. Yeah, but that's what my dad taught me. When I was cooking, a, I was cooking at the ravioli, and he would say amarone. I'll insert the clip here. Say amarone. 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 Ravioli, chicken, manja. Espresso. I got more booze. <laughs> I'm have, I'll help you with that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Let's get this on camera because... Oh, it smells good. Oh. What's that called? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm on a... Amaro? Amaro! Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't mind it. I actually like that better than the um, what my dad has. Ramonier. Yeah, it's got more like herby. Oh, that's really good. It's like a more herby, and it's like goes down easy. That's what she said. <laughs> We're here all night. <laughs> We're here till eight. Pod two. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. This is what, what happens when your significant other um, has a dairy tolerance. You eat dessert all alone. Oh, it's really good though. Tartufo. <laughs> no. Can you tell me I haven't been out in a while? How was dinner, my love? It was so good. We had calamari, gnocchi, you had raviolis. A ravioli! We had some fried chicken, like little pan, pan fried chicken. It was good. And we're in our little cottage. Little pod. A little pod built for two. It's so freaking cute, you guys. We are quite literally two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> Frosted egg on top. Oh, never mind then. No, it's good. Just try it. Yeah, 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 it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. I'm kind of left you hanging Friday evening. Um, but we got very tired. We finished up at that bar in the West Village and then we took the train home and just crashed so tired. And then Saturday was a super lazy, restful day. And today is Mother's Day, which is our actual anniversary day. The 9th is our actual anniversary day. But um, yeah, so I just figured I wanted to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link all of the places that we um, visited on our date night in the description box below in case you were looking for a fun night out in New York City. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe because it'll really support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.